Hi there and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video we are going to review a ROM called AOSP Extended or in short we call it as AEX and the Android version is Android 12. So first let us begin with what all different things or what all customization does the ROM offer us. So let us start by the kick settings first. As we can see that we can adjust the brightness slider from top to bottom in this particular version of ROM and there is a small button given for the automatic brightness adjustments. This button we are familiar with all versions of Android. So there is that adds a little bit of convenience or little bit of easiness. So let us review the ROMs launcher first. The ROM that I am using is GApps version. So since I am using GApps version, I am having Google launcher. I have not used a vanilla version so I don't know what launcher it's using in vanilla. So let's go to widgets. What all widgets does the ROM offer us? Well, um, the ROM is of the ROM is offering standard widgets, standard type of widgets. The funniest thing or the fancy or we do prefer to have Android 12 widgets. So basically that is associated with the clock. Uh, basically we can set custom clocks like if you need the analog version of the Android 12 you can certainly do that and you can go for other versions such as um, a horizontal clock or whatever that you call a pill shaped clock maybe yeah so let's go to the other one let's try to look yeah the stacked version this is how it is going to look like and there is a car type widget two for the clocks yeah so this is what we are getting so four types of cut custom clocks that we are getting and we have seen those types too and what other uh, widgets do we have we have a conversation widget so basically you can put it over here got it uh, i don't have any conversation or i don't have any messages so basically it is not going to display uh, something that i don't have the third option that we are getting in the launcher is wallpaper and style when you go to wallpaper and style you can see that first you are given an option whether you want to customize the wallpaper or not then we are given a um, a kind of couple of basic colors if you want to set basic colors to it I mean like uh, the accent color and all you can do that let's go for green and how it does yeah so if you want to set custom colors to a uh, custom accent colors that is also possible with this row you can enable dark theme from here disable it or if you want to use themed icons definitely you can do that plus on top of that we can even arrange the grid size I mean grid also from here so that's also possible um, the other thing I want to show you is um, well I have reviewed a lot of um, Android 12 ROMs and mostly they didn't have a lot of customization so AOSP extended comes with a couple of customization not a lot but yeah some useful customization so I don't, I'm not going to review each and every settings functions rather we will go straight into the extensions page which is the customization option for AOSP extended. So let's start with the battery settings first. We can arrange battery style which needs to be or which is displayed in the status bar into these styles circle, circle filled, icon portrait, the standard one or go for the circle and we can even um, customize where to display the battery percentage inside in the icon well we cannot see that clearly so if you want it next to the icon definitely you can do that there is an option for the battery bar too I don't normally use battery bar but these all are the options that you get under battery settings the next thing is carrier label which we are all familiar with all ROMs so I don't normally use it so <laughs> there is no point of setting it clock and date customization we can cu custom set clock and date we can move the position of the clock if you want to s display it center you can do that or in the right well I don't suggest you to put it in right because it's going to take up the notification area space uh, icons space in the status bar 
if you want to show the am or pm that you can do that if you want to show the date you can certainly do that date style we can put it in uppercase or lowercase date format these all are the date format that are available in this particular row date position too we can customize it whether it needs to be displayed in the right uh, right uh, side of the time so that's also possible if you want seconds to be displayed you can also display that with the time the second thing is or the next option is um, status bar icon customization we all are familiar with it so these all are the options that are available with it then we get a traffic indicator with this particular row so we can arrange the traffic indicator placement into status bar or expanded header well we can uh, select the activity type combined upload or upload or download so let's have a look let's set it zero so yeah or into dynamic and you can even set custom activity threshold so it will display start to display the network speed indicator at uh, set speed and we can even adjust the font size of the network uh, traffic indicator miscellaneous extension we get miscellaneous extension and we can either enable the AX logo to be displayed in the status bar which I always prefer to uh, display and these all are the options that are available we can even adjust uh, enable the settings uh, brightness control we can adjust the brightness by um, by using the or sliding across the status bar well there is an option for double tap to sleep from the status bar also which is also useful let's move on to the next customization which is the quick settings panel notification we can customize the notifications quick settings and here yeah as i've told you if you want to set i mean normally the brightness slider it is always over here if you want to set it to the bottom you can do that from the quick settings option if you want the brightness slider to be displayed in the quick quick settings panel of course you can do that and disable these options so once you swipe down you won't see the brightness slider animation style you can choose different animation style for the quick setting style which i don't think it's a necessary thing so let's leave that navigation bar or navigation customization these all are the options that you get in navigation bar customization we don't get uh, custom navigation bar things i mean where you can change the icons and all so that's missing from it well nothing to complain about it lock screen shortcuts the next thing is lock screen and let's take lock screen shortcuts we can set custom lock screen shortcuts over here or for to the left and the right then moving on to lock screen ui we have options like whether we want to show the charging information fingerprint success vibration fingerprint error vibration and we also get an option to enable music visualizer so i don't need to go through those options since uh, we all are familiar with the music visualizer and finally we get this is the last option and this is the system option under extensions we get battery option so this is about the battery charging light well we cannot uh, set custom colors to the led in wins so <laughs> that's not a useful option then uh, buttons we get the option for power menu and we can customize the power menu we can enable screenshot and let's see yeah so as you can see we can see the screenshot tile being added to the power menu so we can customize with these options toggle torch when screen off so that is also something that we are all aware of now generally speaking the ROM is not heavy with a lot of uh, customization but even though the ROM is not heavy with the customization still the ROM gives a decent performance. Uh, I'm not going to state that the ROM is extremely smooth but overall the performance of the ROM is satisfactory. I cannot comment on any comment anything about the battery backup or any other performances since I have not used the ROM for a very long time so basically i cannot do that 
let's go to the about phone section and review all the informations that are available so it's android 12 the extended version is 9.0 and it's an unno unofficial version um, and as you can see that the default kernel is 4.9.290 dark ages so um, that's about the ROM two things I wish to add with this review is first of all let's go to the settings page and let's do a screenshot okay we did the screenshot and we can change the capture mode so basically in uh, in other ROMs we did have scrolling screenshot thing so basically what you do is you just uh, extend this thing to the down wherever you want to set the screenshot to and save it I'll take I will give you one more shot so three finger swipe thing capture mode go to the capture mode and we can set custom area to capture the screenshot let's save it and go to the screenshot thing again if you want to edit it click on that pencil button thing and you can edit your screenshot too so that's a really convenient feature that we are having the second thing is the volume bar thing so yeah this is how the volume bar in android 12 looks like and top side you can see a small uh, round thing we click on it or touch on it we get other options for the vibrate to make it silent etc etc if you click these three dots it goes down and it, it expands the sound section so you can adjust media volume call volume uh, as per your wish whatever you want to adjust so that is really convenient with this not with this room but generally with all the android 12 rooms which we are which is in front of us well a um, couple of final words about the rom the rom is generally good and uh, the rom is great to in, to be installed on your mobile phone i guess that the rom doesn't have any major bugs and it's also very user friendly to use plus adding on top of that rom is generally smooth and it's nice to we all we all know aosp extended and it does give you decent performance too so let's have a look at the play store certification or cts thing well i have installed the magisk on this particular rom since i wanted to uh, take a look at a look into something and uh, let's check for the safety net so um, yeah the safety net net passes but it is not by default i have enabled magisk hide so basically if you enable magisk hide you can pass the safety net of this particular rom well yeah the rom is generally smooth and if you want to use this particular rom definitely you can give it a try and maybe you can use it for your daily usage too so many thanks for watching let's talk by george and please stay subscribed to my channel for more videos and updates thank you